Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. <clears throat> this is the first time I'm speaking today. My voice is kind of gone. Um, it's been a while since I talked to you guys. It's been a while since I talked to you guys. I feel like we have a lot to catch up on. But to start off this video, like I said, it is Monday. I ordered some groceries last night from Whole Foods for like Amazon Prime for them to deliver it because I didn't get a chance to go to the grocery store this weekend. So I'm gonna um, take everything out and show you what I got. We'll kick this video off at the grocery haul and then um, I need to obviously work because it's Monday, but we will do a big catch up later in the day. So let me unbox everything. Okay, everything is laid out. We got a decent amount, so let's go through it. Starting over here in the pantry type stuff, I got some Simple Mills almond flour crackers, just the sea salt ones. These are really good. Um, and I got that to eat with hummus, which I'll show you in a minute. Grab some Skinny Pop popcorn. I don't really care about like the number of calories or that it's like Skinny Pop, but grab that. And then I grabbed some brown rice pasta. I just got the bow ties, thought it'd be good. I don't think I've ever actually tried this brand. I usually get like pasta from Trader Joe's, brown rice pasta specifically, but this one um, had good reviews and I don't see why it wouldn't be good. So grab that, grab this hummus, which is what I'm gonna eat with these crackers. It's a spicy hummus, although it says mild, so I don't really know what that means, um, but it had really good reviews, so I wanted to try that. Grabbed a couple cheeses. Um, I just wanted like some shaved Parmesan, but they didn't have that, so got this, which is Parmesan and Asiago. Sure, it's gonna be great. Grab some feta, some Greek yogurt. Sorry, this looks kind of gross, but I got some chicken thighs. We're gonna grill one night this week. And then some pine nuts because I wanted to do a pine nut. Um, oh, I forgot to get lemons. It's okay, I can walk to Publix. I wanted to do some pine nuts, um, like a Parmesan Italian cheese and like a salad with like arugula. I feel like that'd be really good with some lemon and olive oil. So grab these uh, pine nuts for that. Then moving back here, we have a Cosmic Cranberry um, Kombucha. I usually get the pineapple one. If you guys watch me religiously, you'll know that, but I thought I'd switch it up. And then it got two creamers. The hazelnut is my all-time favorite, and then the toasted marshmallow is also really good. So grab both of those. And then we have some produce. So some bananas, grape tomatoes, um, two zucchinis, two corns, broccoli, avocados, Granny Smith apples, strawberries. These look so good. Um, some baby spinach and arugula. I just wanted arugula, but they didn't have it, so they substituted with that, which is fine. And then a couple last things are some frozen things. So we have some brown rice. I was looking for the microwavable like serving size ones, like you know the ones I get at Trader Joe's, the ones that are really popular, because they have my Whole Foods too, but. I couldn't find them, so I just got this. It's like in a reusable, not reusable, resealable bag, so you can kind of like portion out what you want. You can still stick in the microwave, so should still be easy. Grab Sully his ice cream. He gets it every Friday. And then grab two um, bonds of pizzas for when we don't feel like cooking. Instead of ordering in, I thought this would be good to have, so. That's everything. My battery is flashing and I need to get to work, so I'm gonna very quickly put this away and I'll see you guys in a bit. having the same coffee that I made nine hours ago and drinking it. I obviously just worked for the whole day. Well, maybe not obviously, but it's just about five o'clock now. And I wanted to, like I said, just like chat with you guys, catch you guys up on what's been like happening. This past weekend was really, really busy, but honestly, it was one of the best weekends I've had in so long. Like, <laughs> sounds ridiculous, but probably one of like the best weekends of my life. I don't know. It just was like, such a happy weekend uh, i mentioned in one of my recent videos but my birthday was actually on july 8th so i just turned 23 so you're looking at the news 23 year old and yusuf surprised me and had my best friend from boston fly down here with her boyfriend so maddie who you guys have met if you watched me for a while sorry my lips are chopped i need to put on some aquaphor she was the one who like when i got engaged she was with me throughout that entire process like getting ready and everything she's like my ride or die best friend and yusuf got them to come down and surprise me for my birthday so i found out they were coming like literally like an hour before oh 
I need to light for my computer. Literally like an hour before they um, like arrived at my apartment just because I, long story short, I figured it out. So I found out like very last minute, but regardless, it was still such a good surprise. I feel like I need to move you guys this way. And um, it was just such a fun weekend. I'll run you through like what we did. So they got here on Thursday. Thursday night was like the seventh, the day before my birthday. So we went to a little not like a speakeasy but i don't know it's like a bar gathering type place it's called mather's social gathering um it's right in downtown orlando and it was so so fun we walked over it was really cool like they had like a giant bar um kind of in the center and it was like instead of like just like standing there there were like different seating areas and it was just so much fun there was like a piano duel that night so two guys were on the piano like not really Julie, but they were just like playing with each other and they were singing and they like sung happy birthday to me, of course. I don't know who it was. I still don't actually know. I need to ask. Either a family member or Yusuf or a friend or something got like the piano players to know it was my birthday. Like they told them. So they called me up. They sang happy birthday. I was very embarrassed. But that was just like such, such a fun night. And then on the way home, we were walking. We grabbed some pizza. We grabbed some insomnia cookies. And we just came back to my apartment um, and just like hung out and had cake. Yusuf had gotten me actually a really cute cake. It was like a YouTube inspired cake, which was so sweet. So he got me that, he got me a bottle of champagne and we popped that at midnight. And yeah, it was just like such a fun night to kind of like start off the birthday celebration or festivities. My hair is like really frizzy. My parents were there, my sister was there, well, one of them. Um, Yusuf was there and of course like Maddie and her boyfriend were there. So, and my cousin too. So that was really fun. The next day, Oh, Yusuf booked us a couple's massage. Um, so he did that. It was super nice. We did like an hour of massage or like hour and a half or something. And then we got to like soak in these like tubs in this really pretty spa. So we did that. Yeah, that night we just hung out. I got a new piece of furniture. So I actually built that on my birthday just because I really wanted to. So we just like hung out at home. My mom came over um, because my dad left for out of town and we played games and just had a good like relaxing night on the actual day of my birthday the following day we went to disney so we spent the whole day at disney we went to animal kingdom in epcot we were planning on um going to hollywood studios and magic kingdom as well but we just ran out of time but i spent the whole day there and that was so fun so that was saturday yesterday was sunday and um what did we do oh we went to my parents house we went jet skiing we went like tubing on the back of the jet ski and just really had such a good weekend like it really was so fun just like so much laughter and just like so many good memories so so just like thankful to have had that time with maddie and for yusuf to plan everything and of course have that time with yusuf and my family and um, my cousin was in town like i said which was super fun so just a really good wholesome weekend i didn't film anything of course but um it was just so much fun so that was a lot of talking but i just wanted to like catch you guys up on just like what had happened because it was so fun and i wanted to share that with you guys so that brings me to today like i said way earlier it's monday today i'm gonna stop chatting i feel like i just need to like get my life together after this weekend like we are eating out so much who's calling me hold on hello okay i'll be down in a second thank you i have a package downstairs anyway yeah i feel like i just need to like get my life together we were eating out so much I didn't really work out this morning. I did do work out, but like while um, Maddie and her boyfriend were here, I didn't really work out, and I just need to like get everything back in order, um, do some laundry, and just get it together. I want to cook a nice, healthy meal tonight for dinner, and all that good stuff. So I'll take you guys along in the rest of the day. Thank you for listening to me rant and tell you about my past weekend. I'm gonna finish up a few things for work, and then we will get on with the rest of the day. It's a Kindle. I'll move you guys a little over. Okay, so for Christmas, no, Christmas, for my birthday, my mom was asking for some ideas of what her and my dad could get me for my birthday. I had no idea what I wanted because I really don't need anything. Like, I'm good. And if I want something, I typically will just like, buy it for myself. Like, I don't want my parents to have to buy it for me. But they asked for some ideas. So I said a Kindle would be great because I've been really into reading. But I like having books because I think it's fun to like have the tangible book. But I read through them pretty fast. I feel like I'm typically a fast reader and then I end up just like I just donate them so I figured the Kindle would be a good option instead so I'm very excited about this it's the Kindle Paperwhite um, 8 gigabyte Kindle oh I'm so pumped okay should we open this right now okay we got the charger and then this is the actual Kindle so it's a Paperwhite which means like you can't it's not like a 
Kindle tablet. Like you can only read on it, I'm pretty sure. Um, but it does, there's like no glare, which is hence like why it's called paper white. It kind of like looks as if it is a book, like a book page. Okay, I don't know if it's touchscreen or not. I don't know. I've never had a Kindle. <laughs> How do I use this? Oh, oh, okay. I need to set this up, but I'm so excited. Is so comfy one of the doesn't say one of the best purchase we got for this apartment it's so comfy Sally quiet over there we just ate dinner I cooked um, I did some laundry made the bed in the guest room which by the way that's where like Maddie and her boyfriend stayed and um, it was like really great it like pulls out to be a I think it's actually a king size bed Either queen or king, I don't know. And there's drawers underneath, like it was perfect. So love that, but just like cleaned up a little bit, cleaned up the bathroom a bit. And now we are winding down for the night. Yusuf just hopped in the shower or is about to hop in the shower. And then we're gonna watch Love Island, which we are a few episodes behind. So we need to catch up on that. And well, we don't need to, but I want to catch up on that. Um, and The Bachelorette also premieres tonight, which I don't think I'm gonna like get around to watching because I'd rather catch up on Love Island, so hopefully I can find some time this week and watch The Bachelorette. Let me know if you're watching this season. It'll be interesting because there's two different Bachelorettes. But last update for you guys before I end this video off is that we did finally get a TV stand. I'm so happy with it. Let me show you. Ignore Sully's dog toys, but this is the TV stand we got. It's from Ikea, surprisingly. I feel like this doesn't look like an Ikea piece. I just think like that personally. Don't mind that there is a seam right here because technically like this is one unit and then you can add on this to make it longer. So we need to get a glass topper for it, which they do sell. They're just sold out right now. Um, but we're gonna get that and put it over and then you won't even be able to tell that's like two different pieces. And then Yusuf's PlayStation is also gonna go inside. So I love it. There's lots of storage, which we're not even using. So the PlayStation can go in like one of them. And then, oh, it opens over here. And then this is also empty. I keep forgetting that it's like a push one but I keep forgetting anyway um, that's that and then this one has some games so we're finally able to put away the games and I think it looks really really good love that it was out of stock for so long but it finally came back in stock and I just think it looks really good I love the doors there's dog here on it what else is new last thing actually this made me think of it do you see what that is? So Yusuf's mom gave me this wedding planner book, which first of all, that's not the cutest thing ever. Um, but she gave me this when she was here back, no, was it when she was here? Or maybe she mailed it to me. I don't remember, a while ago, maybe like four or five months ago, I would say. But we weren't wedding planning yet, so I was like, I'll hold on to it and I'll keep for me our wedding planning. And big news, we have begun the wedding planning process, which is so crazy. So excited. It has been stressful, I'll say that already. And we've like barely started, but um, we did find a venue that we love. We secured a date and we're in the process of like submitting our initial deposits and signing contracts and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's coming, it's gonna happen in 2023. I'm not gonna say like the date or anything, but it's gonna be um, mid to end of 2023 so we're so excited i'll bring you guys along on like any parts of that that i can it's just like such an exciting time of our lives to finally be planning our wedding and i cannot wait for that day i will leave you guys with that um i need to like rest my vocal cords not really i actually love losing my voice i've talked about this before i think it's fun but um yeah we're just gonna hang out so you aren't gonna miss anything but hope you guys enjoyed this video it was very chatty i just wanted to catch up with you guys i miss talking to you all and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.